Today in Middle Tennessee, more tornadoes were confirmed from Saturday, bringing the total to more than a dozen, and we could learn about more as the week goes on. We've also covered uncovered tonight tornado mapping that shows a troubling reality for all of us. More tornadoes are moving into our region than anywhere else. Yeah, it's not something you want to hear. Our chief investigative reporter Jamie Finley has been investigating this deadly trend for four years now and shows why we're at so much risk. While the tornado damage from Kentucky to Tennessee is gut wrenching, these maps are just as alarming. Two different climate specialists with frighteningly similar maps. The locations of where more tornadoes are appearing are in red and orange. Both maps show the western and middle sections of Tennessee and Kentucky are seeing alarming increases. That reality prompted News 4 Investigates to examine since 2018 if our homes are being built strong enough to withstand even smaller tornadoes. A concern first prompted by this Christiana house flipped over by a smaller tornado in which Angie Walker was killed. The house lifts off the foundation and flips. You feel that this house shouldn't have flipped. You still have trees around in the backyard. This wasn't anything more than 125, 135 miles per hour. So this shouldn't have happened to this house? Well, in theory, it, it should not have. It's a theory based on a scale used by meteorologists to determine the strength of tornadoes. Five is the strongest, zero is the weakest. It's all based on the damage surveyed at the scene. The National Weather Service determined the tornado that hit Christiana was just a two. It should have just blown off roofs and snapped large trees. Not do this type of damage. Watch. This simulation shows it takes wind speeds of 115 miles per hour to force a home off its foundation. But News 4 investigates found homes in Tennessee were required to be only built to withstand winds of up to 90 miles per hour just three years ago. Our investigation also found this. 38 counties across Tennessee have opted out of requiring the state's minimum standards for codes, meaning no codes department or inspections are required to make sure homes can withstand wind speeds. Now look at this. Here's where the counties are that opted out in western and middle Tennessee. And this is a map from a 2018 study of tornadic activity in Tennessee from the past 38 years. Where the tornadoes are showing up in red and orange are right among our western counties not requiring inspections. Wow. Yeah, yeah right? That, that is a wow. So, Jeremy, mm. what are the wind construction standards now? And have they been updated? So they have been. I just checked on this tonight. So it turns out that in Tennessee, just last year, the state oh, adopted wow. stricter rules. So now if a home is built since July 2020 on, it has to withstand those 115 mile per hour wow. winds. That's good. But remember, we also showed you how many counties don't even have codes at all. Wow. Mm. Yep. Golly. Okay. Yep. Jeremy Finley, thank you so much.